Hello folks and welcome to the second part of our One UI 6.0 review. In the first part we talked about the updated design, new settings, lock screen and so on. The link to this video is in the description. Be sure to check it out after watching this video. Today we'll dive into the camera and gallery improvements as well as other changes in One UI 6.0 that aim to enhance the user experience across several key areas. Share this video with your friends, especially those who have Samsung. Perhaps they will learn something useful from this video. Let's go! Well, some of the most useful new features and improvements can be seen in the camera app. Firstly, the camera interface has been slightly redesigned. One UI 6 lets you switch camera resolution in photo mode with a single tap. Expect on devices like the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which have a 200 megapixel camera that can shoot at 200 megapixels, 50 megapixels, and 12 megapixels, in which case you will still need to tap the resolution button twice. A pop up now appears when you tap the video size button, making it easier to see all the options and choose the right ones. Filter and face effects now use a dial instead of a slider, making it easier to make precise adjustments with just one hand. The next new feature is custom camera widgets. Now you can add custom camera widgets to your home screen. You can set each widget to start in a specific shooting mode, save pictures in an album of your choice and select the background of the widget. Well, for example, you can set the selfie camera to shoot video in portrait mode. And now by clicking this widget, you're ready to shoot a portrait video of yourself. From the camera settings, advanced intelligence options menu, you can choose between three levels of quality optimization for the pictures you take. Choose maximum to get the highest quality pictures with the most post-processing. Choose minimum to reduce the amount of post-processing so you can take pictures as quickly as possible. You can also choose medium to get the best balance of speed and post-processing. The camera's scan documents and text feature, which detects documents and text in the frame and can capture only the document and text and discard the rest, is now separate from Scene Optimizer and can be enabled even when Scene Optimizer is off. Moreover, a new option in the camera settings scan documents and text menu, called Auto Scan, allows the camera to capture documents and text without requiring a press of the shutter button. Auto FPS can be enabled and disabled for different video frame rates. Galaxy phones come with an Auto FPS option in the camera settings that can automatically increase or decrease frame rate depending on the lighting conditions. Before One UI 6, Auto FPS could simply be enabled or disabled. On One UI 6, you can select whether Auto FPS works for 30 FPS videos or for 60 FPS videos. The camera app on gallery phones can switch between the front and rear camera when you swipe up or down on the screen. And from One UI 6 onwards, you can disable the option so you can avoid accidental swipes. Now, let's look at the gallery app. Quick photo editing options shifted to detail view. Options such as portrait effect, background effect, remaster and object eraser are now accessed by opening an image in the gallery and swiping it up or tapping the eye icon at the bottom. Now, access to these settings is super convenient, because before, for example, to remove an object from a photo, you have to go to editing, then press these three dots and only here is the function you need. Now, I'm sure many will use these tools more often. By the way, in the photo editing menu in One UI 6, some tools such as object eraser and style filters are now available from the first button in the bottom menu. On One UI 6, the photo editor has undo and redo buttons that you can tap to undo or redo the last change made to the photo. This is a basic option that Samsung somehow didn't add to One UI all these years, but it's here now. That's an addition to the revert button, which undoes all changes with a single tap. Finally, when you add text to a photo, you can choose from several new backgrounds and styles. The gallery's video editor has been renamed to Studio in One UI 6 and can be quickly accessed by opening the gallery app, tapping the icon with three horizontal lines at the bottom right and tapping the huge Go to Studio option. You can also simply search for Studio in the app draw search bar and the app will show up in the results. Also, you can add a shortcut to Studio to the app draw as well. The Studio itself redesigned the user interface, things have been moved around and some unnecessary options have been removed. When you open a video in the Video Player app. For camera videos, you can do so by navigating to a video in the gallery, tapping the three dot button and select the Open in Video Player option. You can pause it and long press on any object or area you want to save or share. 
With One UI 6.0, Samsung has finally upgraded the screen recording feature. Now, the built-in screen recorder can record videos at up to 120 FPS, which makes these videos look smoother when played back. We say up to 120 FPS because it seems the frame rate in screen recordings can vary depending on what is being recorded. The share panel has received a major improvement. When you share pictures or videos from any app, preview images will appear at the top of the share panel to give you one more chance to review the pictures and videos before sharing them. In the share panel, you can also make edits to images, and when you share content, additional options may appear on the share panel depending on the app you share from. For example, when you share a website from the Chrome web browser, you will get the option to share a screenshot of the website along with the web address. Before One UI 6, dragging files or text from one app to another would require you to have both apps open at the same time in the multi-window mode. Now you can open one app, select the files you want to copy to another app, press and hold the selected files with one hand or finger, then use the other hand to open the other app and drop the selected files in there. When an app appears in your search results in the app drawer, you can touch and hold the apps icon to get quick access to actions you can perform using the app. For example, long pressing the Telegram icon will show you recent charts. When accessing the Trash folder in the My Files app, you'll be able to access the Trash folder for other apps such as Gallery as well. Native Samsung apps have also been updated. For example, the Weather Insights widget provides more information about your local weather conditions. You can see when severe thunderstorms, snow, rain and other events are on the forecast. The Health app home screen in One UI 6 now shows more info. There's also the option to change the size of your water cup, making it simpler to figure out how much water you've had based on your chosen cup, bottle or other vessel. One of my favorite widgets, the Smart Suggestions, has been redesigned with a layout that better aligns with other icons on your home screen. You can now adjust transparency and choose between a white or black background. You can also set apps to exclude from suggestions. Well guys, time to sum it up. Let me remind you that we have part 1 of the review. Be sure to check it out if you haven't. The link to it is in the description. Overall, in my opinion, One UI 6.0 is an evolutionary step in the right direction. It copes with its main task, not to spoil what is there. The new quick settings panel is generally good. The interface has been refreshed with subtle changes in a new font. One UI now seems livelier. Overall, I am happy with the new version of One UI. I didn't meet any lags or slowdowns, with the exception of a couple of problems with animation, which I'm sure will be fixed in the next patches. Battery life is also good, so if you are a Galaxy smartphone user, I think you will like One UI 6. Guys, share this video with your friends, this is the best support for the channel. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good luck to all!